Hello everyone, I will show you how to add a purchase order on Big Seller in this video. Purchase order means the orders you purchased from your supplier. With this feature on Big Seller, you can check the purchasing status and add a purchase order to stop in. Firstly, I will show you how to add a purchase order on Big Seller. Go to Purchase, Purchase Orders. You can click here to add a new purchase order. Here you need to enter all the purchase order information. The receiving warehouse and the supplier information are required. For the supplier, you can add it and purchase supplier list. You can click here to add a new supplier. Here you need to enter the supplier name. The supplier website. Also, you can enter the company address. Contacts. And the settlement method. Including to pay, instant pay, installment, weekly paid, monthly paid, and payment period. Also, you can enter the contacts information. For example, the phone number email address and the note for this supplier then click here to submit here you can see this supplier has been created successfully then you come back to the purchase order click here to sign in and select the supplier here you can select the currency you purchased from your supplier. The price will be changed to your account currency automatically. You can click here to set the exchange rate you want to use. You can use the exchange rate on the day of stock in, or you can use the fixed rate. For example, you can enter 3, then click confirm. Also, you can enter ship fee for the cost allocation method you can select the price or quantity if you select the price big seller will calculate the allocated expense based on the price if you select the quantity big seller will calculate the allocated expense based on the quantity you can also enter other fee or the notes for this purchase order after entering all information, you can click here to select the merchant SKU you purchased. Then click Confirm. Here you need to enter the purchase quantity and the purchase price. Then Big Seller will calculate the subtotal purchase price, allocated expense, and the final purchase price automatically. Then click Save. Here you can see this purchase order has been created successfully. After that, you can click here to submit. Submit successfully. After that, you can check it and on the way. Here you can check the order details, edit to the note, or cancel the purchase order. If you cancel it, this order will be ended at the will be moved to cancel the status. After you received the items from your supplier, you can go to Inventory, Purchase Receiving to receive the inventory. You can click here. Here you need to enter the receive quantity. If you have not received all items, you can enter the real Receive quantity from number 50, then click Confirm. For the partial reception, you can find this purchase order and the partial reception folder. Here you can see you have received 50 quantity. Here you can click here to end this purchase order, but please note it means 
you will end the purchase order, and this order will be moved to completed, and you cannot process it anymore. If you have, if you have received all items, you can back to re inventory purchasing receiving, filter partial reception, and click here to confirm receiving. You can in enter 50 quantity, then click confirm. Then this order has been received all, all the quantity. Then this order will be moved to completed. Okay guys, it is all about the purchase order feature on Big Seller. Please contact us if you have any other questions.